All right. So we're here. It looks like Nick and Mike Wash are about to get started. Uh, one pocket, race to three. Um, Mike's an A player. Of course, Nick has a triple uh, A in the tournament, which is the pros. And uh, I'm sitting here with Kerry Dizzle Dunn. Hey, out there. You're back to see one of the greatest players that ever lived. He's won more tournaments than any human. Are you sure about Nick that? Nick Kentucky. More world championships, right? Colonel Barner. Wow. Yeah, he has won more. Has he? Uh, yeah. Has he won a, a world title in each event? Oh, everything. Everything. Every world title. He's won every turn from Boston to Austin. <laughs> from Boston to Austin. That is right. What about the rest of the East West Coast? Clean those up. He's <laughs> cleaned, cleaned them those up, up too. too. <laughs> yeah. It's been real busy lately with his. Uh, One business. of the nicest gentlemen you'll ever meet. Super nice. I think we're going to get going after this rack. You know who Nick reminds me of? You remember uh, uh, Willy Wonka in the chocolate, chocolate factory? Well, he's about ready to get some chocolate right now. I think he's going to take down the cheese. You think so? Mm-hmm. What is your prediction for the score? Um... Three zip. Three zero. Nikki's huh? way. Wow. Maybe not. Uh, you know, these young guns uh, fool you. Wow. <laughs> like to say hello to my wife out there. I hope she's feeling better. Yes. She was better she... last time I checked on her. Yeah, that's good. Is she watching from home? I don't think so. Yeah, is she playing playing cards tonight. No, 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 no. She's probably going she's going shopping. She's going shopping. <laughs> That's what women do best: shop. We just gotta let them have that yeah. champ. That's their championship. I don't know. If, I don't know if they can hear us. Can y'all hear us out there? If you, anybody can hear us, let us know. We're trying to make sure we got the sound working. Again, um, we're here with uh, Chris Adams. And Carrie Dizzle. And that's right. Carrie Dizzle Dunn. Carrie the Southern Gentleman Dunn. Southern Gentleman Dunn. And you're back to see the Kentucky Colonel. There's a lag, and it looks like uh, Nick won the lag. So it's, we've got the match kicking off now. It's Rack Young. It is Rack Your Own. Race to three, alternate break, one pocket. That is correct. They, uh, the entry fees were handicapped for this tournament, so everybody's going to play a straight race to three. That's right. Even Steven. Uh, all right. Let's, here we go. Again, Nick Barna, he's from Owensboro, Kentucky. Where? Owensboro. Owensboro? Owens. Owensboro. See, there goes that accent. It's down on the southern end there. He's won tournaments in straight pool, nine ball, and one pocket. He's a little frustrated with the way the balls are racking up right now. You know, I've played Nick a couple times in these big tournaments, one pocket, and every time I play him, he always gets the balls down table. Always gets the balls down table. Unless he runs out first. <laughs> Nick 
is making sure that corner ball is froze because if it's not, it, it'll pop out and he doesn't want that. Yes, Nick is great to watch. I didn't see the br I didn't see the break. Uh, the break. Uh, uh, did Nick, he miss it and go uh, around two rails? Or yeah, he pumped his the head ball? a little bit. He yes, he did. Which is his hole? Is his hole the bottom left of our that, screen? That's correct. All right. Well, I guess what I I mean, not being a great one pocket player, of course, I'd like to shoot this. Uh, Three ball over towards the seven and nine to put the cue ball up there next to the six. Well, that's not too good because now he can bank the three. If he can see it, I think from here he can see it. Nick's checking out how many balls he can get. <laughs> he can get. Or whether it's a um, chancy shot or profitable for him to go for it or further deepen the, the uh, destruction. Yeah, Nick does play the wedge well. Somebody said on the chat that uh, Nick plays the wedge well. For those of you that don't know what a wedge is, it's when you get all the balls down on the corner all stuck in one little spot. Yeah, he had a horrible break, but it it looks like he got out of it. Or should I say his opponent let him out of it. This table, they play, they play a little bit, but the pockets are uh, really big, actually, because they just refelted them a couple days ago. So everything's sliding. I'd almost say he's going to fire this in. No, it doesn't look like he must not be able to see it, Kerry. He's going to put the cube underneath the three. Exactly. He see it. It wasn't profitable for him to go for it because he saw well. I couldn't get but one ball. All right. You know, and he can I'm deepen the offense by a real good defense. Yeah, Nick broke the balls towards the uh, bottom right-hand pocket on your guys' screen. And uh, Mike Basha is on the left side. Everything should be okay. If you want to change cameras, here's your two cameras. You're on this camera here. If you want to go to the other one. Okay, got it. All right. Keep track of the score. We're getting... And then and I will be with you. We're getting uh, some pointers on how to work out everything here, so bear with us. It's carrying my first time doing this. And there you go. I think, as I said in the, in the opening, uh, the balls are already starting to progress down tables, slowly but surely. You're yeah, right, Chris. And uh, he's going to... A good shot would, if he's going to play this ball is to try to leave it down there frozen on the rail. Hopefully. And I don't know. Well, that shot there, he had a good chance. To knock the balls into the stack, right? Well, I had a good chance of freezing the cue ball plus getting uh, the ball out. See, Nicky, uh, I made a good shot Wow, there. look at that shot. Um, look how risky it was, though. Yeah, look where the seven see, ball ended up. Yeah. If he had froze the cue ball, Nicky wouldn't, would not have had that shot. But since he didn't, he paid the price. I guess he's, this, is the ball dead? It don't look dead, but he might three rail at seven around, put the cue ball back where it is. It's a good idea. You're right, Chris. 
so much easier to see it from over here. He's not even three railing. He's crossing. Yeah, he was three railing. It. But it's sliding a lot. That's why it went wide. Again, he could have moved the ball over a little further. He could if he well. See, I, he has to pay the price here. I think I think Nick's going to shoot at it because he don't have any free balls. He'll try probably leave the cue ball at the top, top of the table. Uh, yeah, he had a free shot. Free shot. Let's see what he does here. Did you know Nikki and I are the only ones that won the uh, 50 and over? Being over 60, we won the 50 and older. Invitational. Did you know that? No. Was there only two of them? He, Nikki and I are the only ones that have won it 60 and over. Really? Showing my age out there, folks. Hmm. Yeah. Only two. Looks like uh, looks like you could probably hit this seven ball out of there with top English. Yes. You mentioned a while ago the table is sliding a lot. It's easy. So shot. are the corners. See, so uh, has to be very careful. But it is, you're right, Chris, it's a lot easier being a rail hugger. <laughs> I mean rail hugger. But being out there under the Cyclops. He's going to skim off the nine and leave it down table, I think. There you go. Pretty shot. Made nine, that'll spot back up. See, Nicky really wanted to freeze that ball on the rail. But, you know, it's hard to do. Nick's got good speed control. Let's see. Uh, he, he's looking at maybe banking the six into the stack. This looks dangerous, but... Chris, don't you think the young guys, they are really sharp today for our shot making? You know, you know, uh, I think the younger guys that you got, you got in this tournament alone, you got Josh Newman, Josh, 17 years old, you know, plays in the juniors, you got second in the juniors, plays really good. And uh, he's an, as an A player, uh, if I was telling him the other day, if the game I wish I would have learned more of would be this game one pocket because uh, I don't really play one pocket very well oh it definitely helps your ball control overall I think that it'll you know now it looks like uh, looks like Nick's gonna I want to say he's going to shoot the two on rail and leave the cue ball up there in the top corner. Maybe shoot it with inside English and run rail it back down. If but he, he wants to keep as many. He, he might he might skim off to 13 and leave him on, put the cue ball between the. Oh. That's a good shot. He wants to keep as many balls 
That's a beautiful right. shot. He was hoping for a little smooch. That wasn't too bad of shot from Mike. That was very a good, good shot. Very good. Matter of fact, we were just speaking. It's not funny. We're just speaking of you, Josh. You lost. Five five. Who were you playing? Shannon. You played Shannon. And lost. To, with the guy we were just talking about was playing Shannon Dalton. Not in the nine balls. Shannon goes to 13, and Josh Newman was supposed to go to nine. At five to five, he never made another ball in the break, and Shannon beat him 13 to five. However, 13 to six. However, this young man did play Johnny Archer yesterday, a hill hill battle, and played perfect set. Although I saw he didn't that win. match. Although he, he didn't win, he, he played sure did. Hard. Good player. All right, so I think he's going to skim off to two, leave the cue ball down in the corner, maybe back down here by the five. It looks like. Oh. oh. It's hanging on the drop. Well, you sent him over my way then. Well, yeah, we play next. Shannon and I. I'm out of the one pocket. <laughs> I lost to a, For Larry? Yeah, Larry beat me like 30 minutes, 30 seconds. It's all right. That's a good shot. By a very good shot. Again, Southern, uh, the great Southern billiard tour. Uh, they're really glad that y'all listen in. And your comments and, and, are and, very important. And inside uh, Pool Mag as well. So, in, yes, anything that you can say to help the viewing let us know and uh, you know what he may have left an opening here well on a new table hit drilling it he probably could make it yeah, maybe, but it might slide a little bit too much, you know. This is this is a dangerous shot. Kerry didn't even like him looking towards the five ball. Well, Chris and I were really having a good time talking to you guys out there. Oh, see how you can see how they're sliding. New cloth, but they'll start biting in a few days. I think. Uh I think they might, they might start even biting by tomorrow night. They're going to get a lot of play on them tonight. they got one pocket going on. They have a, uh, uh, the nine ball still going on. For you all tonight, I know they're going to have a pro win, ring game. I think they got uh, Johnny Archer, Shannon Dalton. Uh, I'm not sure if Nick committed to that or not yet. Uh, they got Larry Neville. You have, uh, I think Brian White's mentioned he's going to play in it. Sam Monday said he's going to play in it. So it's going to be a nice, uh, that'll be fun to watch. Carrie Dunn's playing in it. Aren't you playing in it tonight? $200, I think, entry. I just might. I know Carrie Dizzle, he might. I'd like to sneak up for the rent. Carrie likes to do that stuff. He sneaks up on the rent quite often. If y'all don't know Carrie, he's about, and I don't want to really insult him too bad, but he's about five foot four. 
Yeah, somebody out there might need a short order cook. <laughs> Five foot four, and he's yeah. super, probably the nicest guy I ever met in the pool, pool I'm community. I'm taller than Alec. <laughs> he's taller than a few people, not very many. <laughs> not in the pool playing. His cue is, I think. I think your cue is taller than you are. I know he's getting ready to tell me about <laughs> Willy Wonka. No, I, I Willy yeah, Wonka. Yeah, Willy Wonka's looking for me to take There's a t nice shift or something like that. Uh, no. Oh, you're going to be a, uh, yeah, you and Nick. <laughs> Nick can be Willy Wonka and you can be his, uh, <laughs> his Oompa Loompa. All right, let's get back to serious. That's good here. speed. Good shot. Left and down Good speed for Mike. The young man showing promise here. But the Kentucky Colonel, uh, very, very tough to beat. The ball count right now is still one to nothing. Oh, he might have bumped his head here. Oh. Wow. That's what some well, of us call a jelly roll. I wouldn't shoot this 15. I think that's a 15 ball. I would shoot the 7 ball and bank it out of there and leave the cue ball down on the bottom rail. That's probably the safest shot. You don't have any. It, don't, it doesn't appear that any of those balls are dead in the stack there. So, But my, Mike has uh, lost his patience, we can tell. Oh, wow. He had it great, though. That was a very good shot. Good shot. A little risky. Young man. Yeah, you know if you're when you know when you go into a match, uh, like he he told me earlier, he knew he was the underdog. When you go into a match and you just know you're the underdog and you're gonna play one pocket, you're more than likely not gonna be able to out move the better player. So sometimes you just gotta take those risks and hope for the reward. Just go for your hole. Go for your hole. And in this case, he's went for it. You're right, Chris. Score now would be two to two. Should be eleven balls in the left. first game. We are in the first game. In a race to three, Mike Basha, Nick Varner, as you call him, the Kentucky Colonel. Oh yeah. He uh, should be the Southern gentleman. <laughs> really, he he's. He is Gentleman. a nice guy. There. But they gave me the name. You know, who, you know who's pretty funny? I didn't know. It. Johnny Archer is funny. Oh, yeah. And I, he's a great guy. See, that was, a, that was a little risky, too. I have a feeling we're going to see the two ball. Unless that one ball goes clean, I think we're going to see the two ball bank towards his hole and the cue ball left up there on the top left or top or our top right side of the screen. I could be wrong though. He's getting this chalk so he's putting some bottom English on this ball. He's going to dig into this ball. I think he's going to bank the two. Maybe into the 14 or try to make it clean. Either way he's going to send those. And he's going to hit it with speed to where the uh the ball's going to stay around the hole. And he's going to stay down in Miami. And, oh. There well, it is. Now Mike's starting to get into a pickle. Yeah. It looks like uh, he's going to shoot this in. Oh, shoot both that, those balls that in. definitely tough roll. Now, I, should, yeah. I know Nick's shooting a four here. Yeah. He's, Nick's going to shoot the four. Hopefully he don't clip the one. If he does clip the one, he's going to be okay. It, uh, de it depends on how loose the pockets are. The pockets are... As you said earlier, they're sliding, so I think it's gonna. I think he's gonna make it and uh, clip the edge of the one and get a shot on the nine. And he's a very good straight pool player. I, I don't know if you know that. 
that well then Nick Nicky is a great uh, straight pool player and he's been playing a lot of straight pool what I understand so it's five to two Nick he needs three balls what do you like here do you like the five or the nine first it's his choice depends on the uh, speed of the table at slides it looks um, like he's going to shoot the he nine. Would, he's going to roll up, make the two next. That's the right shot for uh, no, he's a slick shot table. Up. Never mind. The nine is the shot for a slick table. And then uh, he needs he has six. So all he needs to do is make the five and roll it down to the bottom rail. Very he good. Got, very good. He got a little bit big bounce there, so I think he'll just go ahead and slow roll the two, the combo in. It's probably all he needs. There you go. That'll be the first game. Again, thanks for watching. Um, thanks to Inside Pool for helping us out so much. Well, Nick won the lag, so it's going to be Mike's break. This is alternate format, alternate break format. Race to three. Once again, if you just tuned in, it's Mike Basha wearing the Great Southern Billiard T-shirt. And Nick Varner, the legend. He's in the uh, one pocket, or he's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? Oh, most definitely. For is for one pocket and. He should be in there for everything. Really? <laughs> yeah. I did see him yesterday. He was wearing his 1989 and 1990, or I believe uh, when he won the U.S. Open, he had his green jacket on. Back to back. Back to back. 90-91. Oh, good oh, break. Oh, that's a good break. Mike made a good break. And here he has a chance to get back in it. He's got a chance. He looks like a... Well, if you could shoot that six and draw it back for the two, that's okay. That Then you also want to look at the nine, five, and see if those are wired. If you don't touch them. Looks like he's, oh my gosh. Well, he hit it pretty good. Yeah, he hit it very good. You know, he really, uh, you know, I'm assuming that the two went by the six, but I could be wrong. He's going for the out. That's why I he's shot He's going it. for the out. You're right mm -hmm. about that, Kerry. I think he has to get perfect on this ball, though. And I don't think he got there. Well, like Ray says, you always have more room than you think. So, then again, you still have to hit it good. Oh, wow. I don't like this. I don't like it. He's got himself in a good spot in this I game. I tell you, I think you should slow roll the eight. Right down there and stick him right in the pack. Win a win a chicken dinner. Unless he oh, has a dead is, one. I don't think there's a dead ball there. Oh, oh he missed, boy. He missed a great opportunity. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you get yourself in a position that you got the lead in the, um. He could slow roll the eight. Let me make sure I count it right. I think he gave three balls. He could have slow rolled that eight and put him right in the pack. Now, Ooh. now he's gonna. I think he's gonna shoot this, and if the six goes by the two, we're gonna find out real quick. Well, it does for sure now. He's a straight pool player. He knows yeah. exactly what, what he's doing. As far as we used Moving to call it ball. screwing the ball, and uh, Nicky's great at it. Um, Steve Miserak was great at it. You, you know what? He may bank the thirteen here. Uh, he might bank the 13, run the cue ball into the seven, because then he, the, he can get three or four balls. Well, they're calling you to a match, Kerry. Looks like you're going to get to go play Shannon the Cannon Dalton. Well, and folks, is gonna take it's been nice night. talking to you, but it looks like um, duty calls and off to play Shannon Dalton. Again, it's been nice talking to you. Hope you'll keep watching. Chris is going to take over the mic. 
I got Lil, I got Chris Bruner. Do what? Carrie's excited. He's gonna go run off and try to beat up on the cannon playing some one hole. Um. Danny, give me one. Give me one. All right, I got Chris Bruner just coming, up, just coming in off a match. Did you hit that? No, oh, we're good. Did you win your match, Chris? Yeah, I uh, played Mike Walker. One uh, nine to five. He was shooting really good. It's ridiculous. He was firing he balls in. Good. He was firing balls in left and right. For those of you that free don't, wheeling. don't know Mike, Mike's a great guy. He comes to all the Shannon's tournaments. He likes to uh, uh, get down, as we'll call it. We'll make it easy. Prefers the uh, cash games. Yeah. Well, Mike started this game off, Chris, you weren't here. Uh, he made a ball in the break, made three shots, and then instead of uh, instead of playing a safe, he kind of went for it, tried to play into the stack off a ball or two, and then that that left uh, the rest from Nick. So it's four to three. Is there eight balls left there? Yeah. I think Nick's going to shoot at the six ball here. If it does go, he may he may elect just to bump the six. And Nick's pocket is the pocket where he's standing now, correct? No, Nick, his pocket's down here in the bottom right. We're up. This is up table. Did you switch the view around? Well, this one, this other view is frozen on us. So, so Nick is. Go back to the other one. Nick would be up here on the top left. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. This second screen is froze. So. This is where Nick is. Uh, this is where Nick is one of the best players in one pocket. Once he gets all his balls going down table, you're gonna see. He's not even gonna think twice. He's just gonna send them all up there. Looks like he's just gonna cross the 12 a little bit. He might knock no, the 15 gonna, out of the way. That's a good shot. I think what he's gonna do is shoot the 12 down here, draw the cue ball off the rail, and put it back down there on the rail. Unless he can make bank that one and get the cue ball over by the seven, but that's risky. Uh, I look for him. Actually, I just look for him to leave it over here by the diamond. Uh oh, he scratched. Uh oh, that is not good. Win. He's so. So, uh, Mike Bosha has a uh, cue ball in hand here. I think he's just going to shoot the 15 and drift over for the 8. Kind of like. Let me see what it is. I just want to see what it is. I need one of these because I took the two books. Is it chicken? Oh. Mmm.
cracking. That was a good shot. Second screen froze. It looks like he made that. I'm looking across the room now. And it Do you get barbecue sauce too? Food for a sec. Need to eat. I haven't eaten all day. Wow, that was a good shot there. I believe Mike only needs one ball. Yeah, he's going to bank the two, I believe, with a little bit of outside English, which will kill the cue ball down to the bottom rail. That should be, uh, that's what I like. He's going to shoot the one, I believe. The only bad thing is you could leave the two ball. Uh, worse than that, he, he, that took him off the one ball. And, uh, it's going to kind of let Nick back in it. I hear you, Tyler. I hear you. Looks like they're going to do a little quick reboot on one of the cameras so we can get you guys back to the other overhead angle. So we'll be right back with you in just a second.
Mick's looking to see if he can bank that 14 ball. If he can bank that 14 without hitting a one, he's going to bank the 14. Leave the cue ball right next to the chalk on the rail on the left side of the table. He's wheeling it down there. I can't tell if it's going in or not. And it's not. It looks pretty deep in there, though. It, uh, I think Nick needs the one and the two ball to be out. Just make the one, and he should fall perfect for the two. That might be all he needs. Uh, he hit it, didn't hit it very good.
All right, the score is now two to nothing. Nick, Nick's break. It is a race to three. One pocket. And uh, for you guys, Shane Van Bonig is not at this tournament. Was he at the Miserac 10 ball? Yeah, he was at uh, Florida last week, I believe. She says there's no sound. Can you all hear the sound out there? It's uh, um, not a good thing to talk about it. They probably can't hear your audio if you're not saying nothing. We'll find out. All right, guys, once again, we're still here at Fast Eddie's in Goldsboro, North Carolina for the Great Southern Billiard Tour, Carolina Open, the ninth annual Carolina Open. One pocket event is going on now. 95% of the matches in progress now are one pocket. We're, we got a few nine ball matches being worked in, um, but this one pocket tournament started a little late, so we're uh, trying to get these caught up. Anybody hear us out there? SC Bird, can you hear us? They must not be able to hear because no one's replied to it. It takes some time sometimes. They won't answer you. Side to side. Guys, you have your audio down? No, nah, I have mine up. <laughs> He's eating, so. Any audio out there? I was really hoping that would happen. Any audio?
What did I just hear? Can anybody hear us out there? Uh, are you playing? Or is that froze? No, it's not playing the video, but the chats will open. Oh. All right, everybody hear us, correct? Unless you get one of them transfer cables. Mike's in a jam here. Wow, he had a good shot there. Just got a kick of the deuce. Hit the edge of this ball and put it behind the deuce. Mmm. All right, now that we got the audio uh, all worked out. For those of y'all that are in the area, if y'all can, if y'all come down here, y'all are gonna see some great action going on. We have the Double A Pro Ring game tonight. Johnny Archer, Larry Neville, Shannon Dalton, possibly Sam Monday, Kerry Dizzle Dunn, BJ Ussery. BJ Ussery's coming down for us? I heard BJ possibly is coming. Mike Basha is the A, a Kid Vicious. You have a, there's B's, A's, double A's, and then the pros are triple A's. Tonight is a double A ring game, but anybody that is a lower rank can play in any of the uh, higher ranked games. So um, it's double A's and triple A game tonight. And of course, any really, it's anybody. I should just be say it's open. Looks like Sam Monday just got defeated. No, he won. Sam won, uh, I think, 11-6 or 11-5. Just ask him. You win. All right. Sam Monday won his nine ball match, thirteen to six. I think it has a eleven to six. Eleven to six. Eleven Sam to six. 11, that's yeah. correct. Thought he had to go to thirteen for some reason. He plays like he should go to thirteen sometimes. You know, in every single tournament that they've had here at Goldsboro over the last year and a half or two years, uh, Sam has been in the finals of every single tournament from uh, amateur tournaments. It's pretty good. Not too bad of a shot there on the two ball. Um, you got to look for Mike to either just give him this ball or try and kick it away. But if he kicks it away, he might leave Nick a bank on the five. Um, unless he kicks it slow and just has it barely trickle out to where it don't leave a bank. All right, they're getting a sound. Sound is working good. Yeah, I kind of like that shot. He hit it pretty good just to give it to him. All right, it looks like... We're all even on the score line here for this game. Nick apparently owed one when he uh earlier when he when Mike shot a great shot and kicked behind the balls, Nick just took a foul. Looks like he's shooting a three now. 
Double A says he's been out deer hunting. Left him long. I, I like Mike to shoot this little 14 ball, 14 15 combination and uh, just stick him on the side of the 12 or 7 there on the side rail. And if he makes it, he has a, he can sh shoot the five and then possibly roll up and break the three out. But Ooh. it's all it's like an offensive de defensive shot. So yes, they're playing one pocket, tough cut. Race to three. Nick Varner's up two to nothing. The ball counts even for this game, I believe. We are in Greens, or excuse me, Goldsboro, North Carolina at Fast Eddie's. We're with Inside Pool Mag. Yeah. Great Southern Billiard Tour. This is the fin Tour Championship, which is also in cahoots, or I guess, all with the uh, Carolina Open. So they kind of reinvented the wheel there, made it to where it. Uh, Anybody could win this tournament instead of having just a handful of select individuals. So they could draw a pretty good crowd. They had 60, over 60 players, I believe. And if you combine the events between the ring games, the one pocket, and everything, you're probably talking anywhere up between 95 to 100 players between all the ring games that have been going on and the, uh, the one pocket, nine ball. There's been action every night. Um, 24-hour stream. We've we've had scotch doubles, one pocket. We've had nine ball, ten ball. There's been about everything going on in the last few days. Silver's not here. Silver's probably still hanging out in Texas, still in those fast, steady stops. Got it, Steve. Turn it down just a little. No, but that's not Basha. That's Chris Bruner and Chris Adams on the mic. Mike Basha Mike is actually Basha is playing in the match. Playing Nick Varner right now. Mike got sunglasses on his head. Is that what he's got? He's yeah. keeping the hair out of his face, it looks like. Yeah. Talking about hair, did you get a haircut? Yep. You sure got a haircut did. since yesterday. Since only, uh, 10 o'clock this morning. You got one this morning. Only guy who goes on the road and gets a haircut on the road. In the hotel room, actually. Oh, someone gave you a haircut. Well, cut himself. Oh. Probably missed a few places. Not too Can't big. tell at all. Uh, uh, good shot. Snooker in behind the 15, looks like. It's probably just going to kick. I can't tell. Looks like you could just kick it out of there. It's a little stun shot. You don't, you don't even really have to hit it hard. He's got to come under the, the 15, it looks like, or whichever this ball is. Wow, he elected to go offensive there. Mm. Well, I left Nick a shot. I can only see Nick getting this one ball, possibly the ball that Mike just shot. Mm. Yes. 2 nothing is the right score. I think he's just going to shoot the 14, take two rails with the ink cue ball. One, two, and just if he doesn't get out. perfect, he'll just, just send it, it around to his side up there with a little bit of top right and leave the cue ball down on the diamond on the bottom. 
Uh, he may kick it out. No. Yeah, he, I think he's, he's going to do the other shot. Right, it's going to go all the way out of there. There it is, right there. Just got to make sure he hit it hard enough. He's putting a little bait out there just to see if we can get a little crazy. I think he's swinging, it looks like. Maybe. Yeah, he's swinging. Looks like he hit it good, too. It's tough to dig balls out of these big pockets. Yeah, Nick will just roll down and try to hit will Probably just roll down, barely make it, stop right where it's at. See, I don't really like just rolling it down there because he leaves a bank on this on the free ball up by the three the three balls cluttered up. He can bank it. He can shoot at that ball and leave the cue ball snooker behind some of this if he does that. It's a little risky because the three and the four aren't aren't tied up all the way. I like I, I like shooting this bank shot from here and putting the cue ball up by, behind the six. If I make it. I could probably make the six. If not, he's he's safe. Well, it's going to probably leave it short. If he doesn't get perfect, he'll leave a cross bank on the ball. Oh, he hit it bad. Yeah. He Like I said, Nick's going to put some bait Nick's out there. Nick's got a straight-in two-ball shot here. I don't know if it, if it doesn't go, he's going to bank the 13. Uh, I can't see if a 13. If the two goes, the, if, it, if the he'll two goes. He'll shoot the goes. deuce and play the six next. And possibly come up and either bank the 13. Yeah, it goes. He's shooting it. Just going to slow roll it over to the six ball. Uh-oh. Nah, he missed good. It. Well, it might drift in. It almost did drift in. It's one to one. Well, I, th I think... What did they... That's funny. Sam Monday uh, says oh, he has say uh, that is roaches funny. coming out of his case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam they're, they're Monday. Eating, uh, eating his pool sticks. Hey, this is... This place is actually kept very nice. They clean the tables the other night while I was here. They clean underneath the tables. They clean on top of the tables. They clean the felt. They clean the balls. It's been it's been a well ran tournament. Yeah, everything's clean here. Every are clean. I wish I could say the same about our hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Good word. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish Chris, Inn. Chris and uh, Danny are staying at the Irish Inn for all you viewers. Uh, Kid Vish is there. It's a race to three. It is a race to three. Yeah, we're playing. We're staying at the. Uh, the Lucky Irish Inn, I guess. If you, you I'm not going to tell you how nice it is Irish over at the Inn. Comfort Suite then. Oh Get breakfast in the morning. When you've been on the road for three or four days, breakfast, the first day you get up for breakfast after that, you're usually awake through breakfast. So. I don't know. I've been waking up about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> That's what I mean. You're awake, and then you don't you don't go to bed till after breakfast. I don't, miss, I don't get to be there for breakfast. I do. I do. Got to give one compliment. The little mini fridge in the room is keeps everything cold. That's good. And that's the Irish Inn? Yeah. So uh, if you want to, uh, how, how much is it a night there? 35 bucks. Out the door? Out In and out the door. <laughs> $35 a night for a hotel? Oh, my gosh. You talked him down? We talked him down to 35 a night. He's, he, put, he put the mood. He said, well. Uh, we Is that where Carrie's staying too? I don't know, but we <laughs> put the move on the little uh, Pakistani guy, Indian guy that was working there. Doesn't matter what kind of guy he is. You just put the move on him. We, we, yeah, we put we <laughs> put, put the move, move on, on him. him. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's rough to say the either least. Way, like either way you say it, if you stay at the Irish Inn, you're supposed to get lucky. <laughs>
we're getting lessons more and more here. We're learning. So that way when we get to the next match, we'll know exactly what's going we're learning on. Learning what not to do <laughs> on uh, InsidePoolMag.com stream. 24-hour stream all night. If you want it, come get it. Jeff Abernathy and Mike Walker all night long. They oh they moved over and played on the stream. Went to bed, they were playing. I woke up, turned on the computer. There, there Jeff was. What's they, up? There was 50 viewers at like 8:30 this morning when I was here. Oh yeah. <laughs> 50 viewers. Nobody could probably figure out what was going on though. Uh, so. It was all asking. I didn't hey. Have, I didn't have a log. Hey, are we going to eat? Yeah, we gotta wait for this match and the match. Where are we going? Well, let me know. I'm hungry. I've been chomping on barbecue. They got great barbecue plates here. If y'all come out and visit, nice and, clean. nice and clean place, good food, and a great tournament. Good action. There's definitely good action. Hey, let me just tell you all this. If I'm up and winner on a trip, <laughs> you know there's good action. <laughs> you know there's suckers. If he's, uh, a I'm a suckers. lamb killer. <laughs> I think Kerry Dunn and Shannon Dalton are still trying to shoot their first ball in over there. It's, Kerry Dunn yeah, one of the slower you know, players Kerry on was uh, here a while back, uh, a couple of games ago. They haven't even made a ball move on their table over there. I don't know. Oh, he he was already in the door. I, that's who I had to play against. Mike was playing good. Laid Tamavon. Like he hasn't he's he hasn't barked at me anymore since day one and two. It was a nice it was a nice day he's one and two. Was he? Oh uh, yeah, you can't say that to him. Get him up there, bro. That's what I told him. Mike does a lot of barking, but here's the deal. He will do what he says he's gonna do. That is for sure. A man of his word. If he says he's gonna play you a thousand dollar set, whether he likes it or not, he's gonna play you a thousand dollar set. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Everybody keeps talking about that. It's a funny story. The other night we were playing uh, sets, and uh, Mike Mike told me that if I gave him a certain game, that he or not a certain game, he just said if I if he were going to start gambling with me, that I had to play until one of us quit. Basically saying that you couldn't quit until somebody until he quit. So I told him that. Well, I beat him the first set giving them four on the wire to nine. I beat them the second set, giving them four on the wire to nine. Then we adjusted the game a little bit, beat them like that. Then we adjusted the game some more and beat it like that. But then we adjusted the game to where it was just, I just, impossible to win. So after a few sets, I said, okay, I can't give you that weight anymore. He goes, well, that's the game. And I said, okay, I guess we're done then. He says, hey, you promised me you were going to play me all night long. I said, you're darn right. I'm going to play you all night. I'll play you for four days, but we're going to adjust this back. I said, I've been adjusting all night. Right. Sure enough, he thought about it, adjusted it back, and then uh, he, he fired at me a little bit and ran out of juice. He ran out of, luckily he, for me, he ran out of juice around 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, because he, man, he's amped up, man. He don't stop. He's, uh, he is amped he's up. a horse trainer by day, farm, works in the farms all day, and he's just a tough, tough brute. But he's a lot of fun to play with. So if you guys come out and want to play Mike, you're going to have to catch him. He's at every single one of the events. Uh -huh. Next one's Cincinnati, though. Next one is Cincinnati. That's pretty far away. Uh, it's far away for a lot of the folks around here, but they do get a pretty good crowd. Yeah, that's where I'm from, so I'll be, that'll be up by our way. We may be streaming that. We have Beer Pressure. That's a cool name. You got Kid Vicious, Kid V1. I wonder if that's Kid Vicious. Who is Kid Vicious? Huh. You don't know who Kid Vicious is? No. Uh, well, I don't know who it is either. You don't know who it is, really? Not, kid Not a clue. Not Kid Delicious. Delicious. And I'm ready to go now. <clears throat> well, Mike's in a spot here. 
his best move here is more than likely to uh, – he's going to bank the seven. He is winging at a game winner or a loser here. Oh, no, no, he's, he's playing the carom. That, that's not a bad shot. Mm. Nick has a free shot of the four ball here, though. Now, what side of the, the camera changed on me? Nick is on the side of the six ball. Mike is on the side of the 12 ball. Okay. Well, I'm guessing uh, Nick's probably going to cross the 12 over if you can see it. He isn't going to try to make it. He's just going to try to leave it down there on the bottom rail. And the cue ball is going to come back down here towards the three and the five. Oh, well, I didn't see that ball. It's a great shot. That is a great shot. Now he's got the six, once stop again, the six, and bank the 12. Again, it's exactly what I said he was going to do. <laughs> I could not see that that ball went from our angle. And when he got down on it, it looked like he was playing the 12 out of there. He's going to yeah, make the 6, bank the 12. Probably just stop it right there. You don't want to get too much angle. That's perfect. Shoot this and bank the 8 next. So he's going to hit this pretty firm. Uh, he, he could just roll it in no, and play the an 8 angle. next. He got an angle. I think he's going to hit it a little bit stiff. All right. I can't tell. There's a gum. It had to be the gum, yeah. Well, he left Mike a shot. It's a little risky, though. He's got to shoot it and draw the cue ball back to be safe. It's a tough shot to hit, but you just got to swing it. He didn't hit it very good. No. He gave it a good shot. It's just good. He might get a roll out of it. No. All right. For the viewers at home, the next match will be a nine ball match. That's going to happen at 7 p.m., or as soon as this match is over, which should be shortly. It's going to be Sean Putnam, a triple-A player going to 13 against Brian White, a double-A player that will be going to 11. That is a winner's bracket nine-ball match. So if you guys heard that, that'll be your next match. Sean Putnam, Brian White, winner side. The winner of that match will be in the final six on the winner side, or guaranteed the final four on the winner side, a guaranteed fifth sixth. I do have to root on Brian White in that match. He is a road partner on the trip. This eight's gonna go. Look at this shot. Set it right close. Down there. 